What's going on, guys? We have a question right here. It's asking construct a secondary auxiliary view <coughs> of the oblique surface A. Choose the four line method and label all vertices of the oblique plane. So, all your work. So, first of all, in this kind of question, what we have to do is we have to draw the front view and the top view. So, let's see how we can draw this. So, this is my front view. So, it's four by four box longer. And it's inclining in the two box, so it's going to be something like this. And then it's going two back straight, two boxes straight. Then here it's like this, all the way here. And then if you see, this is uh, this is the box, so it's going to be. Gonna be like this. So this is my front view of this uh, surface of this picture, and then I had to draw top view. If I draw top view, it's going to be something like this. So this is my top view of this object. So let's see how we can draw the auxiliary views. So first of all, before I draw this, I have to name this one. Let's say this is one, two, three. I have to name exactly the same here. So since this is top view, I can say this is one, this is two, this is three, and this is front view. I can say this is going to be one, this is going to be my two, this is going to be three. So before I draw this auxiliary view, I have to draw the Phantom line. So this is going to be my phantom line. Phantom line between top view and the front view. So the top view is going to be horizontal view. So it's going to be H. And the front view I name it as front view. So it's going to be F. Then, uh, then I have to extend this one along this line. Let's put dot dot to avoid confusion. So uh, if the other line should be exactly parallel to this one. Then what I had to do is I had to draw another phantom line that is perpendicular to this extended line. So it's going to be like this. Then what I had to do is I had to draw edge view. So to draw the edge view, I had to its edge view is just a line. Therefore, I had to measure these two corners from here to here, this distance, and from here to this distance. So let's say this is 0 0.5 centimeter. This is uh, two centimeter. I had to transfer exactly same distance from here to here. So this is going to be 0 0.5 centimeter. This is going to be two centimeter. And I have to connect this. This is going to be my edge view. Then I have to draw a line that is perpendicular to this edge view. So it's going to be something like something like this. So after I draw the perpendicular line, I have to draw another line that is perpendicular to the extended line. Now what I have to do is I have to measure this distance from here. Let's say this is uh, 2.5 centimeter. This is 3 centimeter. This is uh, 2.7 centimeter. I have to transfer exact same distance from this phantom line. So let's say this is uh, 2.5 centimeter from here. This is 3 centimeter and this is 2.7. So when I connect this one.
this is going to be my true site and I have to name this uh, HView is going to be uh, so this is one, one two one comma two here and this is three and then when I name this one here it's going to be this is going to be the shortest distance two from the here to shortest distance then this is going to be one then this is going to be three now I have to label all the fandom lines this is horizontal front and now here it's going to be this is near to front so this is front and edge view is my first auxiliary view so I have to name it as one so this is the one near to the edge view so this is one then here if we draw the name the other phantom line this is this one is near to the edge view therefore this is one and this one is near to the true side therefore this is going to be two because true size is our secondary auxiliary view so that's all we have to do and we have to name this one this is my true length true length yeah so that's all we have to name i hope you guys like this video see you next time